Well, hello from Kiwis in the Woods. Not currently a Kiwi in the wood. I'm a Kiwi in Auckland, but it's Thursday, the 23rd of November and kind of exciting things are happening today. I'll just back up a little bit. It all started on the 31st of August when Joe and I went to a charity gala dinner where um, we hung out with some friends and it was a really nice night. But the expectation when you go to a gala dinner is it's a fundraiser and that you are going to spend some money. So while I was looking at the online website at said gala dinner, and just looking at all the, oh, you know, lots of lovely things to buy, like spas and facials and stuff that um, uh, I could have bought. Joe said to me, what are you doing on the 23rd of November? I was thinking, well, maybe he's looking at buying a holiday house for a weekend. I said, oh, nothing, having looked at my diary. Well, the next minute, we are going on an Antarctic cruise for 10 days. Wow, that's pretty amazing. I thought i will get myself down to Christchurch because you'll be aware that the American Air Force run their Antarctic program out of Christchurch, New Zealand. So I'm thinking, well, the boat must leave from Christchurch, New Zealand. Well, in fact, it doesn't. We need to fly to Buenos Aires in Argentina and then fly to Ushaya, which is the most southern city in the world. And from there, we take a boat and have an amazing adventure in Antarctica. It's a small boat, only 94 cabins. So not one of those all you can eat buffet boats, but uh, one full of lectures and learning, and I'm sure lots of really interesting people. So it's 8.06 a.m. I'm gonna do a couple of more jobs. I'm gonna go and see my mum and get myself to the airport and fly to Argentina. I want to take you down. Oh, first, I'm going to introduce you to Olga. This is Olga, my double bass. She hasn't been played a lot recently, but hopefully when I get back from Argentina, I'll get a chance to play her. Um, down here is a pile of rather large bags. So one very key difference between going on the Appalachian Trail and going on a cruise to Argentina is clearly the amount of luggage we can take. So those suckers weigh about 20 kilos each. They're meant to weigh 15, but <clears throat> what can I say? Uh, when you have the opportunity to pack lots of stuff, you pack lots of stuff. Beautiful day in Auckland today. Um, it's hard to leave Auckland when the sun's shining, but Buenos Aires is looking pretty hot, so I'm not gonna complain. Oh boy, they've just caught our flight, which means we're up to get onto our first flight, which is a flight to Santiago. And then from Santiago, Chile, Chile, we transfer to Buenos Aires, Argentina. Um, it's actually happening. It's um, extremely exciting. And I will update you further along the trip, but we made it to the airport. Joe nearly didn't. He did text me at lunchtime to say I'm stuck in a meeting. You may have to go past in a taxi and pick me up on the way to the airport. He made it back, so that's good. Um, and we're ready to board. So here we go. We're just getting ourselves sorted and organised um, on our in our posse on the plane and uh, surveying all those important things like what's on the menu and uh, is there a decent Chardonnay. We're at that stage of the holiday. Um, really excited and looking forward to it. What I'm really most looking forward to is seeing a whale. I really want to see a humpback whale um, and a really big iceberg 
and penguins in their, in their natural environment. We see penguins all the time at Kelly Tarleton in Auckland, but that's different. I want to see them in their native environment in the Antarctic Peninsula. So we're both very excited and we've started meeting fellow uh, cruise members and everyone's very nice and very friendly. So we arrived in Buenos Aires. It was kind of funny when we got to customs because there was a huge queue of us and suddenly it hit quarter past whatever hour it was and they all grabbed their smokes and walked off. It was clearly Smoko. So um, slightly confusing for a while, but we sorted it out. Now we've gathered, this is kind of the group of Kiwis mainly who are part of the Antarctic tour that we've joined and we've been collected by a man called Diego with a bus and he's gonna drive us to the hotel. It's kind of unusual for us because we're so used to traveling by ourselves and sorting ourselves out and getting ourselves from A to B to be part of a tour. Um, and in fact, the fact that we're actually getting on a boat is quite remarkable, but um, I feel like I'm gonna be babysat for the next couple of days and my brain's dead. So it's, it's a good feeling. We've just had a really lovely dinner at an Italian restaurant. Uh, Joe had a monster steak, which he was super happy about. And I showed you the fried cheese, this provolone cheese. It was amazing and recommended by Diego, who was our tour guide, who picked us up from the airport. Um, we're heading back to the hotel now. It feels like two o'clock in the afternoon, but it's 10 o'clock at night. I know you need to stop staying that. You've got to just be in the time that you're in. But uh, we're heading back to the hotel now. And at nine o'clock tomorrow morning, we are going to be picked up in a bus and we get to have a tour of, oh, what have we got here? Knives. We get to have a tour of Buenos Aires, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, free time in the afternoon and then it's tango tomorrow night. So um, it's fantastic to be here. It's balmy, the people are classy, and it's incredibly great value. So bring it on, Buenos Aires. <laughs> 